And now this city's under our control. Let's set up, set it up with a storehouse and a barracks and all that good stuff. Fuse you guys together. I'm gonna send the scoundrels over to join us. Oh, so we should probably go meet them halfway because, you know, our army's pretty big. We could use their help. Oh, these are just... Ah, oh, fuck. They're just, they're just tier 1 irregulars. They're not that good. God damn it. Scoundrels apparently aren't that good. They're not tier 2s. We need to get the tier 2s. We definitely need to get the tier 2s if we're going to get across the bridge here. Also, that noise. We could probably take them on. Okay, we're going to start doing that. I'm going to send my armies back over there. We're going to defend this one with this. Because we have a, we have another army there. Ooh. Can we actually get around that place to attack it with multiple armies? I, I hope so. I'd have to hope so. Could also use with securing that, but we need to kill the Dread Spider Queen, which is just in and of itself a disgusting idea. Iron Grip. Oh yeah, that sounds useful when we get it like attacked by something. Okay, now we have the ability to produce high elf bards and assassins. I think the assassin is what we really want to go for. Tons of assassins. Uh, bard is a buffing class, I think. Get some bards as well. As I've said, I've never played as a rogue, so I'm a bit unfamiliar with how they work. I don't know what their troopers are. I don't even know if they have troopers. They might just have regulars only. That'd be like a regular exclusives. I'm going to assume the assassin is our equivalent of a trooper, though, because they did a lot of damage. Okay, let's get you guys exiled. Yeah, let them run. Okay, superior, let's build a wall. I'm surprised that he hasn't tried to destroy, you know, elven cities with 14,000 people in it. These are pretty big cities. Let's begin moving our forces. So we have in total three archers, two scoundrels, a lot of swordsmen, a few mages. That's good. We're gonna move these guys upon the enemy. Ooh, can we actually do this? I need to figure this out. We don't have seafaring yet, but I think once we get seafaring, we, we'll be able to do it. Speaking of which, we can get it now. Basic seafaring, it'll only take a turn. Of course, keep the city producing things constantly, because it has to. We could also actually use with a siege workshop and a wooden wall. Whoa. Oh, hey Gamblag, how you doing? I'm uh, not here to talk to you, Gamblag. I'm here to build a thing here for a rogue's palace so that we can get those up and going here. Hey, get you on that side. Well, we could just cross like this. There we go. That works. And I'll auto combat through that because that's a small fight. Thank you for capturing that dreary castle. You know, fairies have a strong connection with the supernatural. We feel something really wrong here. Some kind of corruption is tainting Gamblag in the pool. Well, join you to help you remove it. Sweet. So there's an evil corruption. Probably the shadows mentioned earlier. Um, because that would, that would only make sense. Oh, it's a cave entrance. Can we not go... 
See, I, I remember when I told you that we'd have to go through a cave eventually? I think this is the moment where we have to go through the cave eventually. Are we ready to go through the cave? I mean, we have a backup army being produced over here. Lots of assassins, NCOs, are being produced in the city. The elven variety. Um, sure, let's go through the cave then. Okay, and this takes us to the underground. Ooh. Should we, what should we, what should we build? Um. I'll go with the, toad, the toadstool ring. Oh! Unicorns, of course. That's all I needed to know. That's all I needed, really. Now, now we just won the war. Pretty much. That's just how it works. Okay, go on in. Uh, what, can you not go in? We want you to come with the rest of the army. This teleporter is inactive! This must be Gamblag's doing. If we take control of the other end, we could probably reactivate it. Okay, but how do we do that? Like, you're neglecting the how of this. If. I'm assuming we have to go back to the overworld. Let's head to the surface. I'm sure it's probably up here somewhere. Let me guess, is it Lake, uh, Lake Ati over there? Is that, is that the place we have to go? Probably. Well, let's get back up to the surface, then. Is there something blocking our trans- Oh! There's an- Oh, that's actually a very good idea! We can just block exits stop people from access or coming out of the underworld like that. That's insane. I'm sure they'd have to, they'd have to like, declare a war on us to use it. That's probably how it works. Well, with that under our control, we can now press on further down the road towards, um, whatever this is. Fucking Lekati. And of course, the Unicorn Army will be joining us soon. We desperately need their help for what we plan to do. What's a Nightshade Hollow? The Nightshade Fairies? Ooh, those sound useful too. Let's get a skill. A Succubus? That sounds pretty cool, I have to admit. But we should probably do some other things first. Not the Cortisone Ambassadors. I don't think those are... Uh, they're, they're just giving me bonuses for diplomacy. We don't need that. Oh, that sounds really good. Ignoring range penalties. That sounds like really good. Unicorn! Sweet. You can join up with the Fey army we have here, which will be coming with us. So, yeah. Apparently, they're fine with unicorns and um, fairies, but anything that isn't apparently, like, supernatural, or, uh, should I say, of a more feminine variety, anything that's not that, the elves hate, it would seem. So, like, goblins, things like that. Oh, shit! Draconian calls out, Sundred! Good you are still alive. My name is Reskar, as part of the council. Thanis told me you were here. Please, Gamblag has gone mad. Can you shelter uh, can you offer shelter to these refugees? I helped them flee when Gamblag raised their cities. I thank you for helping them. Can you tell me what happened? Do you know what happened with Thanis? Do you have any information that could aid me? Hmm, I don't know much, I'm afraid. It happened when I was away. They said there was a there was a fight, but I thought Thanis had wounds in his back. Things moved fast, as if prepared. Gamblag has switched sides of the Commonwealth, and had his troops raise the High Elf cities. They tried to stop me from leaving, but I fought my way out. I know this is I know that this isn't what you hoped for. I am convinced Thanis was innocent. He was kind, gentle, and obviously the first one to die. 
The only one who treated me with respect. He alone voted in favor of allowing me to submerge the Radiant Egg, a sacred artifact of my people in the Pool of Origins. I would be honored to help his sister in any way I can. Join forces with you. Thank you. You are very welcome to join me. I very much use you as an ally. The world has taken a turn for the worse, and when we retake the pool for the Elven Court, you are most welcome to submerge your artifact in it. <laughs> so, um, you know, I was just saying that they, they apparently don't like things that aren't feminine, but apparently they like dragons too. So, I don't know what's, what the Elves deal is. Apparently goblins and humans just suck, but dragons and unicorns and fairies are amazing. I'm telling you, man, these guys are hypocrites. They don't know what they want. You know, you could actually, uh, you know, set up a city right here. I mean, this is actually a pretty good spot for you. Oh, wait, you're, you're, we're right near Gamblag territory, though. Mm, that's a toughy, toughy. Okay. I don't want to lose you, necessarily. Can I send you down to Scout? No, we're out of movement. Okay, you rejoin... You join up with them. Eldaste has gained 200 followers. Of course they have. Sweet. Eldaste has gained 105. Oh, these are all just like camps that we're picking up. Okay, Eldaste has gained a lot, apparently. Well, we should actually... Let's see. I don't see anywhere else for you to settle in the entire world. So you might as well settle here. I mean, there's nowhere else you're going. Dragons rule. Dragon rule. Dragon Nail, because why not? That'll give us a little more stuff. And it's become a high elf city, too. It's not even a dragon city, which is a bit odd. Okay, Draconians. Let's push forward through Gamblag's border next turn, shall we? The Planar Gate up and running. Let's go! We should be more careful near Gamblag's domain. He can cast spells wherever he can see. When I flood the pool, I fear his spells the most. Uh, we need to get to Gamblag. We need to find Venice's body to give him a proper burial, and the pool is part of the ancient heritage of the High Elves. It needs to be retaken. We need to go east and find a way in. So he can cast spells at his own domain, which is uh, a little concerning. That's Gamblag! He's here! Oh my, Gamblag. My. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, he's got a pretty big army. Okay. Fall back to the city. We're not necessarily ready to take this on. We're only using tier... We're using mostly tier 1, so we desperately need to get another army down here. I mean, even with your support of tier 2s and I th just tier 1s, we don't stand much of a chance. These guys will not stand much of a chance either, because they're all tier 1s. However, you guys are actually pretty well off. Those are all tier 2s. Let's bring them down as well. I don't think we need to defend the Fairy Grotto for much of anything. We should probably start building up a military here. Probably some more assassins. We have a lot of armies, but they're all really low tier. This is our highest tier army, ironically, the Fairy one. Who would have guessed? This is another pretty high tier, but it does have some low tiers in it. Our army is low tier. Looks like we're in for a longy, a long fight here. 